Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I haven't done a video in a while. I haven't had my laptop for over two months. Um, this video is going to be about me going to Paxi's, but I want to rant a little bit first. Um, I have an Acer laptop. I bought it from Newegg. Now, I'm not bashing Newegg. I'm bashing uh, ServiceNet, who uh, is people that fixed the laptop. I said in the first time about a year ago after, actually it was the exact year I had it, because they wouldn't take it in before a year, because I still had my manufacturer's warranty, but they wouldn't take it in because they considered it accidental damage when it wasn't. So the issue I had was the laptop just kept disconnecting. I couldn't get power. So I send in, they don't really fix it. I'm like, screw it. I had it away for, I think it was at that point, they actually had it for three months because they took so damn long. I said, screw it. I'm not getting, I'm not going to try and get it repaired again. And then this thing broke so much, I just had to <clears throat> turn around and still did it. And when I sent in the second time, I wrote, replace me in big letters on the power cord. And I got it back with replace me still on it. So I call them up and they're like, oh yeah, we don't replace the power cords. They're not under warranty. And I'm like, why didn't you tell me this the first time if you knew this was the issue? So I call Newegg and they end up giving me a brand new, or they give me a gift card to buy a third party power cord, which has fixed the issue. But yeah, back onto my pack story. Um, I went to pack. One of my biggest things I went, I went to the, I keep forgetting the company's name, but the company who makes Afterglow controllers. I got one a while ago. I think I posted up um, on here. Uh, PDP. There we go. I posted a while ago. I bought one off eBay that had no dongle. So I called them up. I'm like, hey, can I get a dongle for one? And they sent one out. And then for some reason the shoulder button broke when I was heavily playing PS3. And that was all I was playing. It snapped off. And then they said, oh, yeah, send it in. And then I just took forever and then I finally sent it in I I think it passed about a month three months yeah it was three months because it was the day I sent my laptop in and it's been about three months now um so I went to the booth and I was talking to them I'm like hey I sent something in do you know if it if you guys ever got it because they had some people you know uh, customer service was actually there it was actually people from the company not just people hired for the day and they were talking to him, and he goes, well, you know, give us a call when you get back. And then he goes, I don't remember that call. So I told him about how I wanted the dongle. And he goes, I remember you. He goes, what uh, color was this controller? I go, blue. He goes, here you go. I'm like, oh, shit, really? So he sent this in. Oh, and now it's not lighting up. But he sent that in. All right, just handed it to me. And I told him, I go, what if I actually get one in the mail? You know, what do I do? He goes, don't worry about it. I go, if I get it, do I send it back? He goes, don't worry about it. They sent me two controllers. Well, sent me one and gave me one. So, I don't know if I should send this back or what. But I just want to thank PDP if they do let me keep it. Because that's kind of awesome. Um, other than that, uh, PAX was a blast. Um, I ended up going to, um, I, I it took a toll on me this year because I've been having a lot of issues with my back, my feet, and my hands have been numb for the last month. So that was taking a real toll on me, but, um, I ended up get, getting some cool swag. I picked up the bigger blacker box. The first and second expansion for um, Cards Against Humanity. They were passing out condoms, condoms against humanity, which I thought was pretty funny. Next time I play Cards Against Humanity, I'm going to hand it out to people and go, here, go fuck yourself. Um, I ended up grabbing uh, the Hawaii 2 card, which was, uh, I guess, a Reddit fan card, and I ended up picking up uh, the Sloth card, which was from uh, Hawaii to the Island. And if you don't know Cards Against Humanity, look it up. It's pretty funny. So I got those two cards, which is pretty cool. Um, I bought an Umbrella Corporation umbrella from the Capcom booth, which was really funny. Um, or really cool, I mean, sorry. Um, I saw John Tron for two seconds, and he ran off. 
that that was fun. Um, I got a Zelda Orc Arena, which is cool. It just barely fits in one of my Zelda chests, which I still got to finish those. I, I'm just taking them way too long on those. Um, I wore a light up belt. Um, I, um, if you look at my last videos, I have an LED strip that uh, the rainbow LEDs. I wore those as a belt uh, the first day. And then tried to wear it the second day and it didn't work. So I have to work on that. I think it's just a short in the power cable. Um, that got a lot of attention, which was really fun. Um, I don't know, PAX wasn't as good this year, I, I will say, because the convention hall was more densely packed. And I hate how they do that. They make these giant lines in like four feet. Like each line is like, a foot wide, like where someone's supposed to stand, and they just pack them in, and then you can't tell where the line is because the line is just tape on the floor. Um, they had um, like really narrow hallways. You have the typical booths where they only have one person wide to look at the booth, so it's just crowding and crowding and crowding. Um, tabletop seems to get smaller every single year. And I, I didn't see where the uh, bringing your own computer area was. I never even saw that. Um, I didn't get to stop by the cosplay uh, lounge, which would have been fun. Which I didn't know that was a thing. I, I saw it, but I didn't know what it was. And that would have been cool because I probably could have fixed my um, belt that day. Because uh, it was like a do-it-yourself like repair zone. I uh, met almost all my friends at PAX, which was really cool. I met uh, my friend Charlie, his friends, uh, my friend Kells, which I'm in her video, being a smartass. Uh, my friend Devin from work ended up coming up with me. Um, I didn't get to see my friend Sandra, unfortunately, or Baby Grandma, as she's known on uh, YouTube. Um, who else did I see? Uh, my friend Allie and Matt, who work at GameStop. Well, Allie used to work at GameStop. Um, I know I'm forgetting people. Uh, but I saw a lot of people, and the fun thing I love about PAX is every time I go to the handheld lounge, some guy goes, Hey, I remember you from last year. You had the light-up belt buckle. So that, that was always cool. Um, the arcade was different. I mean, I didn't play any of the arcade games. It just interests me. Probably should have played Simpsons Arcade, but... It was run by ScrewTech, which was awesome, because I was sitting there, I'm like, anyone from ScrewTech here? And they're like, yeah, me. I'm like, oh, shit. And I finally got to meet Stutter and Craig, which was really cool. I missed a lot of things I wanted to see. Like I didn't know there was a Q and A session with James Rolfe. I only knew the, uh, the Angry Video Game Nerd. I only knew they had the movie, and I missed that. Um, then they had a panel with Markiplier, which I didn't even see. Uh, There's just a lot of things I missed, but I ended up seeing Bit Brigade, which was one of the best concerts I've ever seen there. I mean, still nothing beats Power Glove, but. I thought it was kind of unique. A uh, guy uh, speed running a game and then playing all the background music while he plays it. That was pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, there, there's probably more. I have a ton of pictures. Um, no, not a ton. I probably have like 20. Um, just what? I, like, I didn't buy any video games this year. I usually buy a bunch of retro stuff from other boots. What there just wasn't much there this year. I don't know if it's because I'm changing or the cons are changing or what. There's nothing I saw that I'm like, ooh, I want that. Um I did kinda want they had Zelda swords. I really wanted uh, it was a foam sword and shield. I really wanted one of those, but forty bucks. I know it's fifty I think. But I ended up buying a thirty dollar orc arena. Uh, mostly so it could fit in one of my Zelda chests, because why not? Cards Against Humanity was pretty much the most I bought. Um, oh, um, I went to, there's uh, Bill Amed, Amend, I, I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's um, the guy who writes for Foxtrot, or who created Foxtrot, I should say, not writes for it. Um, that was been one of my favorite comic books growing up as a kid, and I did not realize he would be there. And I walk up and I just see Jason sitting up on one of the posters and I go, he's here. He's here. And I ended up getting um, four prints, three, basically two of one, 
and two separate ones, one for me, or one for my brother and three for me. Got those all signed up. Uh, came in the second day, Brian wanted my beat the hell comics as a kid, had him sign that. Uh, really nice guy. Um, I don't really know what else. There was um, just so much. I only went for two days this year because I ain't paying forty-five dollars for a Sunday. No. If it's a Friday, if it's a three-day pass, yeah, I'll go Sunday. But I ain't paying for Sunday. I've done that before. Not worth it. But um, yeah, this clusterfuck of a video I think is done. <laughs> um, but yeah, go to PDP's website. I love these controllers. I'm not just saying that. I'm more of an Xbox guy, and I love the staggered analog sticks compared to the um, ones that are like right down here. Plus, they got a really good um, D-pad, if I remember correctly. I haven't used one of these in forever. So, yeah, I'm surprised this YouTube video capture hasn't crashed, because that's all it ever does. See you guys.